welcome back to my channel. In this video, I just wanted to share with you a uh, game that I've been doing with my students this week that they have just been loving. So I just thought I would show you quickly how I put it together in case it's something that you might want to use in, in your classes. Um, but this week we've been talking about the letter X in several of my classes and so we did the theme X marks the spot. So I made a little, um, a little I made some clues for uh, some of the kids who are able to read or I'll read to them and they have to think about where to look and then they looked on the scene and then um, they can find up to four X's where they can find a treasure box. So I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm using Google Slides for this and on the first screen I created um, several clues to go with the you know the game and then I have a picture here of the map that um, you could it's actually linked to the scene okay so you just you press when you want to link something you have to press on it and then you press the link button up here and then you can link it link it to the slide number that you want to go to so it links to the next slide which is here and each of these pictures is linked to a slide that's underneath so like this dolphin is linked to slide number 29 so i would press on that dolphin press the link button and then i can link it to the next you know whichever slide i want it to go to so that is linked and then down here there's a little map that brings me back up to the clue page so after we're finished with this page we go to the clue page and we can look and read the next clue okay so this is linked to slide 26 and that brings me up there and then each of these are linked to different ones and and you'll see like here's here's an X um, I created a I selected a background color or a background picture just by going on under backgrounds and you can search for an image um, for different backgrounds you use Google image search and you can search for an image and then put it to that slide I don't add it to the the whole theme I just do to the one slide and then I just added a big red X and when I press on this X is actually is actually linked to slide 41 so when that, I press on that X I'll go to then this treasure box okay and then I have four treasure boxes with four different X's that they can go to right and and also one thing i just thought i i would point out is this is a background too so again i was able to do a background first you select a background and apply the background to that slide and then you can um, add the pictures just by searching i go to insert i go to search the web and then i can find any picture clip art that i want that doesn't have a background um that you know that is a PNG so it can fit into the picture and it won't be have that white background or outline so let's put this in play mode I go to slideshow to the down, drop down button I press on presenter mode or presenter view and then I X out of the screen there's a pop-up window that pops up I X out of that screen because I don't need it and now here's the screen in play mode. So um, if I press on the map, I start here and we read together. We read or I read to them. It is in the sand and it is wet. So we go press on this map so we can go find out where it is and they have to guess like what's in the sand and what is wet. Hmm, maybe it's the bottle with some water in it. Okay, let's press on the bottle. Oh, it's not that because that has some water and a seashell in there. Now this is a, a Giphy or a Jiffy that I inserted into the game. So that's something else I would have to show you how to do at the end of this. And then we go back to the clues and we read the next one. What is green and not wet? Okay, let's see. What is green and not wet? Oh, it could be the tree. It could be the bush. Let's look at the bush. Oh, there's an X and you press on the X and there's the treasure and i i did um, look up some treasure box pictures that the, and i used a couple of them and i added a few more of my own you know i wanted to add some toys to make the, each of the treasure boxes look different so it was always something new and exciting for them to find but let's talk about how this 
um, Giphy was actually added okay because yeah each of these pictures that I selected that not all of them link to a treasure box but some of the the, the pictures link to different Giphy Jiffies so I would go to the Jiffy website and whichever picture I want to select I press on this little clip um, paper clip so I can I get my link and then I go back to my slide and then on my slide, if I want to insert it, I press insert and then I go to image and I go to clip right here by URL and then you right click, paste your, your, your link there and then you can insert it right there into your slide, right? And then you link that slide, got to link that slide back to the first map so sometimes it's hard to see this part down here so you got to make sure that your slide you can see this full window that pops up and then you want to find the number of the slide that you want to link it to and it was for me the slide was 27 so I press on 27 and now it's linked to that beginning slide so I can go back to it to start all over again but I'm going to come out of that because I don't need it for this game. So that was just a quick way to show you how to play this fun treasure hunt game that I looked all over the internet trying to find, even a teacher's paid teacher, I was trying to look for some activities that I could use for this week and nothing really you know did it for me so I just ended up making my own it took a little time just trying to piece everything together but it's it was so worth it oh my goodness I use it in all of my classes I use it in my circle time class circle time level two I use it in my sounded out class because we were sounding out words as we were reading the clues and then I use it in my reading classes just as a kind of like a game because I always do like a warm-up game for the kids before we kind of get into a book or something so it served a lot of purposes this week so I thought I'd just share. Let me know what you think and if you thought it was helpful please give it a like. Bye!